tuning in to the online broadcast network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads from over 200 countries and your number one source in after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! I'm not gonna do it. Oh. <laughs> Bring that music up louder. Come on, louder. Be a Josh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, yay! There he is. He's sweating. Josh is sweating in the booth. <laughs> he is sweating in the booth. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm your host AJ Gibson here with the lovely <laughs> Kelly Oliski, Dorinda Barker, and JJ Jurgens. We have not worked together in so long. How I know. Are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm glad to know yeah. you're a Dallas fan. I love Dallas. Yeah. I do too. This is season three, episode thirteen, boxed in. We've have we have a very special guest in studio tonight, in this very hot studio in Encino, California. Antonio Hamario, how are you? <laughs> it's so hot, is it not? Oh, it is hot. Yeah. It's like Texas on. Jeez. It's like, uh, <laughs> it has been more than Texas hot in the state of California last few days. It is not. Well, I don't understand this heat wave right now. Let's just talk about that really quickly before we get into the heat that is Dallas. It is so hot here. Yeah. It is. I have not felt 108 degrees ever in my life. No. And I did the other day. I was in Ohio Oof. two days ago and it was 55. Now I'm back, it and is, it's this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No bueno. Mm. All right. So I'm not, no shirt, no bow tie tonight. I came real casual. It's like a mesh shirt. <laughs> it's breathable. It's breathable. All right. So uh, we're excited to have you here. I'm excited mm. to be here. Thank you, guys. You're going to you give, give us some scoop, some dish? I am. I'm going to give you <gasps> lots of scoops and lots of dishes. Lots of, lots of dishes. Lots of dishes. Well, we're, we're slightly terrified of you. That's why you're on the couch and we're over here. Um, especially after tonight's episode. We ran into the metal detector before well, we came You were freaktastic. Let's, yeah, let's, yes. let's talk about the yes. freaktasticness of this uh, episode. Yeah. It starts off with uh, Emma and Anne uh, in the back of a truck. Okay. You put them there. I did? No, I think, well, your people did. Oh, you yes, never do yes, anything yes. on your no, own. No. Yeah, <laughs> except know. except for cook, cook stew, which we'll get to later. Um, but they're in the back of a truck tied up, and uh, they're brought to a house, and uh, we find uh, you there, your character, Luis. And uh, he uncuts their rope so kindly of you. What a gentleman. No, but I like how the shot before he cuts the rope is just like him like throwing up the knife. Well, yeah. Just yeah. like very oh. scary. I was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember. No, I remember. I, I, I had my guys bring them over to the house, and then they came, and I they were tied up, and I took the rope and I cut it with my little knife, and then we had a conversation about things. Yeah. I don't think life, very politics, knife, religion. I think so. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> well, you shot this. How long ago did you shoot this? You guys shot this quite a while ago. Uh, we finished. Uh, the last week of uh, in the springtime, May. Right? Yeah. May. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Finish. Nice. So, so when do you know? So, for instance, this storyline that that because it, it's always such a shocker, and we always talk about how Dallas has such great cliffhangers. Uh, last week's episode ends up with us finding out that Emma and Anne have been kidnapped. When do you find out these things are going to happen in the storyline? Is it not until you get the script, or do you know at the beginning of the season what's where things are going to go? Actually, because I came in on episode two. Mm-hmm. I knew very little. I knew episode per episode. Mm -hmm. So things would change. Um, I think the other cast members might have known more than I. Yeah. But things mm -hmm. change because I think my character, Luis, was not supposed to be on for that long. Okay. I think I was supposed to uh, come in on episode two and I was supposed to marry married, uh, Judith, you know, the character. And we were supposed <gasps> to that You're making that up right now. Yes. Right into the sunset on the same horse? No. <laughs> no. That would be that would amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that would have been great. And we shot it, but they said, no, let's do something else. Well, it, it said, Instead, she decides to do coke and say, Mama Life. Mama Life, yes. <laughs> oh. So, Papa Life. so they, it kept growing as, oh. as it went. I didn't know. The later episodes, I knew a little more. Yeah. You know, but oh. I... That just reminded me because I, I have interviewed you before, yes. and that that comment right there, I, I think that. I brought up to you last time, the mama like and oh. the cocaine on the gums. Oh, oh that was Being, uh, Please tell me what it's like to work with. First of all, to work with Judith Light and to have to have that sort of experience on camera with somebody who we all grew up grew up loving her, thinking she was like the best mom in the world. She's who's the boss. She's so different on this show. What's that like working with her? It's a wonderful experience. You said it. I mean, just to be in front of a, a, an actress, a human being like that, that's given us so much joy over the years. I mean, so many shows. Not mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. who's the boss. But she 
she's been on everything. Yeah. She's so, been on Broadway too. Yeah. She's oh, fantastic. She, she's fantastic to work with and she's a wonderful, lovely woman. And to be able to play off with her like that, mm -hmm. it was awesome. Because sometimes, you know, some actors are not easy to play with. They're kind, mm -hmm. of, they're kind of stiff. They've yeah. already decided. And you're like, oh, shit. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. But her, she was so playful and so ready to just try something else. And we were feeling each other up. And, 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 <laughs> and, and that wasn't even part of the script. We were just, you know, <laughs> just for fun. Just like, oh. We do that sometimes here. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I was going to ask that. Do you guys improv a lot together? Are there things you add to the script that, are, that isn't already there? It really depends on the, the, uh, the, the other actors. Because some mm -hmm. people already decide what they're coming in with. I like to come in completely open. I know what the circumstances <clears throat> are. I know what what's happening but let's see if something unexpected happens which is a, when that happens it's tremendous not only for the audience but for everyone involved so does somebody actually write the line mama like i think <laughs> i came up with it <laughs> did you really i said judith why don't you say mama like you really did oh, oh. <laughs> there's a writer like, like, yeah. genius there's, there's a writer somewhere really yeah, upset like, yeah i came up with papa like <laughs> I don't know what I, I don't know what I believe from you right now. I know, I know. <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, she came up with it entirely. Awesome. I brought the cocaine, but she did. Of course, of course. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Fake cocaine. Yes, of course. <laughs> Powder sugar. Well, yes. Emma's really struggling right now. She's uh, she's just feeling so much guilt. She's feeling like she's put her herself, mm -hmm. of course, and her mother in jeopardy. She says, "I'm so sorry. This is all my fault." Uh, but then that was uh, a great. Scene. Yeah, but then Anne yeah. says to her. Uh, let's not worry about that now. Let's stay together because we're so much stronger than we are mm -hmm. apart, which is a very uh, common theme in Dallas. Throughout whatever whatever happens to this Ewing family, always, they're always at each other's throats until there's an external force attacking them. Mm -hmm. And whenever mm -hmm. that happens, it doesn't matter what's going on inside the family, they all come together. And, and even the periphery family, uh, Pamela, and, and to some degree, Elena, they're still part of that, that Ewing right. unit. Mm -hmm. And I think it was really, really evident at the top of this this episode. And I really, really, really love that. Uh, then we also see Judith finding out for the first time that Emma has been kidnapped. And we see her weakness, which I think mm -hmm. is fantastic. Mm -hmm. because it, yeah. We haven't really seen a weakness from Judith yet She's the last two seasons. Yeah. She, yeah. she gets to play a different a different side of this character that we've never seen that is absolutely brilliant and I have to say really quickly because if I don't say this by the end of the episode it's a disservice uh, I do not understand for the life of me how she has not received an Emmy nomination for this role she I will. Will. know she will I, I already know she next, will next season you think yes okay yes, I think so. she has to she's yeah. way she to. Uh, no no it Wait. took a character like Louise to break her down <laughs> yes yes, yes. Talk, yes. Talk everybody what to do and blah 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 no 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 listen lady sit you know what? The, the humility in this man right here is, 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 well, is inspiring. I mean, yes. You did bring her hands as a gift. Yeah. Oh. True. Yes, yes. yes those, are, yeah, those were actually a friend of mine's. They were his hands. <laughs> okay, okay. Clearly. We had a disagreement. So <laughs> it's a normal way to ha know, handle that. It yes, happened. And I, and I saved them, and then I told the producers that I had a set of hands at home. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring them, and they're like, what? So well, I brought them and they liked The it. moment yeah. really caught her character off guard because yeah. she had kind of settled into like grandma mode where she was in like her grandma pajamas a little bit yeah. and relaxing. And we don't get to see that side of her either. Then all of a sudden, she's kind of like, ooh, you know, she's on her heels a little bit in that moment. And mm -hmm. she opened that box and then found out that her daughter, oh, that was awesome. Yeah. I really, really, yeah. really enjoyed yeah. that. Uh, and it kind of creeped me out too. Well, one thing I want to say really quick before we move on that I like about Anne and her exchange with Emma is the fact that she didn't argue with her when she said when Emma said this is all my fault and that's one thing that I feel like Anne's character usually does is try to comfort and make you feel good and no it's not your fault I mean whatever it's fine we'll get through this but she didn't do that and I like that well you know why she's like, well, she's thinking, yeah, yeah bitch it is your fault you yeah, do right. and what good is it gonna do me now yeah, that yeah. Like, yeah you're right yeah. it is your but, fault but you know it's kind of like a thing to, to kind of coddle and you know we'll be fine don't be scared and you know she didn't say that I would totally she's keep like, pointing sorry. the finger I'm like yes it is you're yeah. absolutely right and if one of us gets out it's me <laughs> for sure all right so then we go uh, we've got bobby and christopher they go to see ryland ryland shows them the video so that now they know um I, there was a moment did you think for a moment that ryland was not going to let them know it looked oh. like he kind of thought about it for a second like he's not going to let them but he's like i need to let them in because it's more important to me that i get my daughter back than i keep the secret from my enemy yeah. 
Well, we kind of predicted that last week. He, they were, their only way for this to really work is to get the Ewings involved. Yeah. Because if you do it separate of the Ewings, then you really lose a lot of the storyline. Well, yeah, Dallas re- doesn't exist. Yeah. Do, yeah. Right. yeah. But you change the name, it becomes a different show. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey, then it becomes then it becomes Knott's Landing. Or what, is what was the <laughs> yeah. spinoff? Knott's Landing. Knott's right. Landing, yeah. Yes, with Val and Gary. Yeah. Val and Ewing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, I just showed my age. Oh, uh, anyway, no. <laughs> so, but do you ever notice? I love that Bobby's there, Christopher's there, Rylan, and then all of a sudden, Sue Ellen's there. All of a sudden, yeah. John Ross Everyone is there. They all is just there. show up at Harris Rylan's yeah. house. Unfortunately, Sue Ellen is there sober, too. Which yeah. I'll, diff- I'll get to that later. Um, <laughs> I, we'll hate a, I hate a sober Sue Ellen. I really just do. Uh, so we've got Nicholas. He uh, sees the pick of Hunter McKay. Um, and sees that he's hanging he's been hanged right Mm -hmm. and uh that the cause of death is pending which is really interesting um you would assume that it's just it's a suicide but of course nothing is what it seems on dallas Mm -hmm. uh elena is filming a kashi commercial outside she walks out there to meet her she's eating did you see this she was filming a commercial no no it's total product placement he walks outside and there's a a kashi go lean cereal box is sitting there for like three different frames and he's coming back to this and she's sitting there eating cereal so i make the joke yes they did commercial. that with Herodora tequila All last time, season. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a sponsor for the episode. They did it for the Bud Light. Bud Light did it also for the, yeah, the cookout. Exactly. Yeah, for the barbecue. Yeah. 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 Always saw the Bud Light. Product the placement. Time. It's important. It's important. Yeah. Um, Nicholas goes um, to her. He tells her the story of his childhood and how, how he didn't actually go back to Catholic school. He actually went back to the streets after she came back to Texas mm-hmm. and he was in, in Mexico. Mexico. Um, he admits to losing over half a billion dollars of the cartel's money. Um, tells her about the Mendez Ochoa uh, connection. Uh, she wants to tell Ewings and the SEC so they can get involved because she's mm-hmm. now freaking out. Because I think uh, Elena's is really realizing that she's in way over her head. That this is not turning out to be um, the revenge that she thought it was going to be. Her brother's now dead. Her mom's in shambles. She doesn't have a job anymore. Who's going to make the uh, what, what's the, what, the what is it that oh, she no, makes no. empanadas or what, what was it <laughs> last empanadas, time? Empanadas. Empanadas. <laughs> Nobody makes empanadas like her mother. Um, so she doesn't have a job well, she anymore. Does. She does. She makes jokes about it. Um, <laughs> um, and now every everybody's in danger, including her and and Nicholas Trevino. Uh-huh. Um, so she's definitely her head is kind of spinning right now. Yeah, and this is one though I would like to have seen her bolt from him for like, sure. Think, how, how long are you? You realize that he's totally just used you, and she still sticks around. Elena's kind of um, how do I? I don't know how to say this politely. Not Elena's right. kind of an idiot. I feel like this whole season and she's driving me crazy. Yeah. Okay. I feel like she's really vindictive. It's all about revenge and I don't think she's making a lot of smart choices. Okay. What do you think the true motivation is? Do you think the true motivation for Elena is to to honor her father's legacy and to, or her brother's legacy now that he's dead? Do we think it's really to get back at Christopher and the Ewings to some degree? What is motivating her this whole season? Or is she just in love with Nicholas? Elena? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. Uh, he, I think he just thinks of her as a pawn in a big plan. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> no, I think you're completely right. Mm-hmm. Everything you said makes total sense. I think she should um, keep her mouth, uh, I guess, closed. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and choose a man. Mm-hmm. One. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. One. Right. Yeah. Um, and and just get out of the way because she's just uh, creating trouble. Well, her character does kind of annoy me this season because what? Pamela's so strong and Pamela, even when she yeah. gets hurt, she comes roaring back and Elena is just a little bit mousy to me and a little mm-hmm. bit kind of... Uh, okay. I, think she totally likes, I think she likes being a little bit bad. Yeah, but here's the thing. She, in this second half of the season, she came out like gangbusters she did she did and then all of a sudden she went back listen i think they should have just kept her as gangbusters and had her kept going the way she was but all of a sudden for some reason they just took her character and put it back to where it was well you gotta think she did something really okay so she she came out she fought for her family she you know called out the ewing she did all of this but the way that she did it when she goes back to nicholas i think this is what turned her back in because she goes to nicholas her childhood friend that knew that she's in love with her so she thinks joaquin Luis was in love with Elena, right? Oh, is Luis in love with everyone? I don't know everyone? how much I can say, but no, no, no. Really? Me and Nicholas and Elena were friends, childhood oh. friends. Oh. I was in love with Elena. For real? And Nicholas took her away from me. Really? Oh. No. I wanted her. But now she's gone out, gone out with everyone. So <laughs> is that so why? Is that why you're jealous of Nicholas oh. in that scene when you're with your dad in the garden I'm and he's talking of about because his trailer is so much bigger than mine. <laughs> 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 well, yes, because that's it, where it stems from. It, 
Oh. In my storyline, it's because we fought over the same girl <coughs> and she chose Ham. Mm -hmm. oh. And our, my, our father figure, Mr. Ochoa, has also groomed Ham to be the right. poster child when I believe Luis is the one actually doing the work. But in all fairness, yeah. Nicholas Trevino is the kind of the pretty boy of the cartel. That's like he the kind thing. of, yeah, he's yeah. the charmer, yeah. he's the schmoozer. Yes, yes, I think that's what, uh, what that's why Mr. Ochoa decided to use him. And you're terrifying. Because he smiles. <laughs> yeah. You know, you... But you haven't lost him all that money, so that's another reason why you feel like you're the smarter well, person for this yeah. role, yeah. right? this much money and still be alive. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. I told him. You know, they didn't yeah. keep it. They... <laughs> <laughs> cartel or not, I think somebody should have died for $600 right. million. Dollars. I said, um, Mr. Ochoa, I said six hundred million dollars, not six million dollars. Yeah. yeah, it's like who stays alive for six hundred million dollars? No one. Wow. So that's, those it. are the jabs then that your character brings in about. I'm sorry, I wasn't educated. I wasn't this. It goes back to the thing with Nicholas. Yes, it goes okay. to the yes. That's that interesting. He's been chosen to be, you know, the front. He's the right. golden child. And I stay home doing the dirty work and to clean up after him. Well, mm -hmm. and Elena still chooses him. Well, his wife's pretty hot. Do you think your character could go make a play for her now? Yeah, Lucia? Mm. Lucia? I, no, no, I've already had No. Uh, <laughs> Lucia. I'm curious. I'm curious if there will be a Lucia-Christopher connection now. Because Elena's gotten with everybody. Elena's been in the John Ross, Christopher, every, well, everybody down south and north of the border. Elena's been... <laughs> I mean, she seems like such a nice girl. And she's she's going to be pregnant anyway by the time this right. season is over with the holy Ooh, diaphragm. Yeah. Hashtag holy diaphragm. Someone used it last yes, week. Yes, it's going to happen. With John Ross's baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. it, ha it has to be. No, a cartel baby. A cartel Ooh, baby. No, I think it's going to be. Oh. Yes. yes, actually, uh, even though she's been everywhere, <laughs> Luis still likes, loves Selena. Cause, and, and Lucia will be livid by that. That's what will drive Lucia to Christopher. They're going to switch. <laughs> <laughs> Calling it, I don't know. I make it. I mean, so many random predictions oh, all the time. No, no, I think that may happen. For season four. Yeah, I think, I think so. Yes, I can I see that it. happening. And Victoria Principal is coming back. Okay, <laughs> do you know who Victoria Principal is? Yes. Okay, I make I make references to her, the original Pamela Barnes, over and Pamela Barnes Ewing, over and over and over again. And last year we thought she was going to come back the season finale or two years ago, and yeah. then she didn't. But I'm hold, I'm still holding out hope that she'll come back someday. <laughs> and then she we should, get at least one. Thank you, yeah. thank you. She should if, 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 I like this guy. Know? Yeah. Let's have him back. <laughs> Let's have him back in an air conditioned room next time, please. I know. Moving on, we've got Bobby, Sue Ellen, and Rylan talking to the CIA guy. What's his name again? Uh, I wrote Joe. I think it's the Joe. I just CIA say the CIA guy. guy. I, I don't else. remember. I believe his name is Joe. I'm going to get to that in a little bit, and I'll find out, and I'll let you know. Um, but he's talking to him. John Ross walks in confused. <laughs> um, and Cartel found out about Ryland, uh, then the girls would die. So this is why they're trying to keep this information you know, pretty tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Cartel selling assets very quickly. Um, and is, if they can sell enough assets and raise enough cash quickly enough, they don't have a need for Anne or Emma anymore. Mm -hmm. So this is why there's this intensity within the Ewing family right now, correct? Yes. Because mm -hmm. we can take over, if we get the cash we need, we take over right away. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we so, do see the girls right. as ammunition. You know? Well, and then the, the family, each each person is playing a different part. Christopher wants to go find Nicholas to save Elena and see what's going on there. John Ross is like, okay, even though they're the cartel, they're still business people. Let's make them a better deal. And Bobby just wants to save Anne. So they're all kind of playing a different role in how they're going to get their family back together. But one thing that's interesting is that Bobby tells John Ross, don't do anything without talking to me first. Well, which that of always course, goes over well. Right. You have really good handwriting. <laughs> Cursive. It's so beautiful. Um, so we're back down south of the border, and Anne and Emma are there, and Anne asks to use the restroom. She's trying to find a way out, right? So she's in the restroom, and she's, she goes to the window, and it's, it, there's bars, and she looks out, and there is a truckload of dead people just piled up in the back of a truck. We, we were like, are they pouring cocaine on them right now? Was that, or we, was that lie? Yeah. Was what, that was lie? That, to decompose the bodies? That's, yes. That's to make stew? Yes, de decompose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Make soup. The yes, acid make soup. soup. Yeah, the pizzoli? The acid soup, the pizzoli. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. Because yeah, we have Which a big party. Pizzoli. The following episode, there's a big party. A big fiesta <laughs> 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 yes, with lots of guests. So we need well, lots you're of soup. You're kidding no. right now. No, no, no. no everybody gets a soup. This is disgusting. <laughs> This is disgusting. <laughs> there's a, there's a You've tweet. You've now become a grim story. There's a tweet that somebody tweeted that says, it says to Anne, oh, honey, just eat the damn puzzle. Uh -oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> tweet that person back right yeah. now. You have to. <laughs> yes, it's Layla yeah. Cardenas. It says, Anne, honey, just which eat. Which reminds me, you just joined Twitter, correct? Yes. And what, yes. Is, what, is your, this what is your Twitter handle? Uh, it's a... Uh, 
A, letter A, like the little thing. Uh-huh. At, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. At, at. And then Antonio, and then J M L L O. Is that correct? Yes. 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 That's correct. Yes. Yeah. And that's Antonio. the at sign. Yeah. yeah. At. At, at yeah. Antonio J M L L O. Yes. So tweet him right now, you guys. He's in the studio. You can tweet questions and make sure you you also add, add one of us on there. What is our after buzz? Uh, Use the hashtag a Dallas A B T V yes, so we can right. find yeah. your question. And then we will try to get back to your tweets um, live on the Are air tonight. Are you guys on this thing? This. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm looking at I'm looking at tweets Please. right now. It just came. He thinks it just came out like three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get. <laughs> he needs followers, guys. Yeah, Follow him yeah. immediately. Wait a, what about Instagram? Do you know about that? It's probably I, already that, I don't know who that is. is that <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, he's a really nice guy. You should meet him sometime. Yeah. <laughs> is he on the show? Have you heard of Ash, Have you heard of Ashton Kutcher? He yes. was the first celebrity oh, yes. ever to a million Twitter followers years ago. Oh, uh, years yeah, ago. Than Justin Bieber. Yes. 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 You're already oh. up to 123 now. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yes. yes. <laughs> Woohoo. I had two. My wife <laughs> 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 it's growing. Let's get him to 500. I don't know if I, I don't know if I've broken 100 followers in a day ever. Like maybe once. But I still don't know how to tweet Twitter. Oh, yeah. oh. And you have a black. And you have a blackberry black too. Yes. Oh. What, a blackberry. <laughs> nothing. Blackberry. Black, okay. No, nothing. Blackberries are awesome. Everybody has iPhones, right? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. I know, and I have a Samsung. Well, I ordered my iPhone <laughs> six this afternoon. Oh, iPhones. Let's move on. Conspiracy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wars of the cartel. Oh no. Every six months, they make 600 million. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. This okay. is true. And we all fall for it. Yeah. Um, all right. So now uh, we've got John Ross. He goes to Pamela. Um, her feud with the Ewings is just beginning, she says. Uh, staying married to him um, is her plan now. And she's mm-hmm. doing that so she can take him for everything. Yep. If her she leaves dumb him right husband now, for everything. Her dumb husband. Yeah. yeah but talk about another great scene with her. Like being powerful oh, and strong. Just yes. right to his face. Putting it out there. Pamela is one of my... Probably my top two or three favorite characters yeah. on the entire show, outside of Drunk Sue Ellen. Drunk Sue Ellen, like it's she's number one. Yeah. She talks Drunk everything. Drunk Sue Ellen is time. always number one. Yeah, um, and somehow Jr. is still like my number two, probably even <laughs> number one. He's not even alive anymore, so he's not even on the show. But he's still my favorite character of all time. Wait um, a second. And Luis? Luis, oh, he's number four. I'm number four. Right here. Number four. What? This is over. <laughs> <laughs> number four. First person to walk out of an interview. <laughs> I know this would happen one day. We just weren't sure, man. Right. The cartel is now going to oh, get us. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. I have different. Okay, every scene of every episode, I have a different favorite. Okay. Mine, it's just never Elena. I'm but sorry. You know, sorry. It's, you know what is with this show? And it's, to- it's true. Like, first season was okay, and it got so much better like the last episode was amazing mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. second season the way they wrote around JR's death so was brilliant. so I honest kudos kudos to them mm-hmm. and then this season I think is just fantastic the writers mm-hmm. do such a great job of doing all these twists and turns and sometimes you don't see certain things coming well I thought that tonight mm-hmm. I um I was watching watching the episode <clears throat> earlier um I was watching last week's episode earlier today and then this one tonight mm-hmm. and I am so blown away by the way that they intertwine all of these storylines how they weave mm-hmm. them all together by the end of the season and how they all make sense because by about episode five or six every season i'm always like what is happening <laughs> like it's exciting <laughs> like it's fun it's all kind of like yeah cliffhangers everywhere like how on earth are any of these storylines going to tie together and all these different families how's it all going to make sense but then by like episode 10 it starts to all come together and by mm-hmm. the finale you're like oh my god that made so much sense all along <laughs> oh you and, wait yeah. till the, the finale oh uh, you're two uh, hours so season finale I can't next wait. week everything's gonna uh, make sense yes all right yes. all right yes. so and we can't forget there's still this this uh photographer taking pictures of of uh, Joaquin yeah. and Elena out wherever Throughout they are the has, been, has been following them for two episodes now. Well, yeah. that, that mm-hmm. guy's just a paparazzi. <laughs> yeah, just paparazzi. And they haven't been able to catch him, so he's still on the show, but really has not. They filmed that, that scene in Beverly Hills. It's a paparazzi, yeah. Yeah. It's a paparazzi dude. They're just trying to get... <laughs> that was for her, go, her, goalie, her goalie photo yeah, shoot. Yeah, for Kashi. <laughs> so Pamela, uh, she's trying to broker a deal with Nasir to, to buy back these, these shares, right? Um, because uh, mm-hmm. John Ross can't can't really do that because he's really burned all of his bridges with the with the sheik and with his son. Um, so 
We go back to Christopher. He goes down south of the border again. There's a lot of traveling in this episode. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Christopher mm-hmm. goes south of the border to Lucia, uh, tells her about Elena. She doesn't quite believe everything he's saying to her um, because she's, you know, family first. You know, she talks about yeah. how important the family is and, and your man can stray as long as he still puts the family first. It's when he doesn't put the family first anymore, that's when it's no bueno. I, I want to yeah, I I live that. there. Yeah, that, that <laughs> was you know, great. Why can't we adapt it to this? Yeah. <laughs> sign me, uh, sign me up for that sort of a marriage. Amen. <laughs> As long oh, yeah, as you yeah. pay the bills, what is wrong? What is Absolutely. the problem? Absolutely, I like the way he thinks. Hello, Ladies, Bill and Clark. Hi, no. Bill and Hillary. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Now, Hello. the day you open the refrigerator, there's nothing to eat. Okay, yeah. Then, Go at him and scream and <laughs> Absolutely. Him. But if there's tons of food and all the bills been paid. What do you want? Yeah, there's food and electricity. <laughs> oh, shut your mouth. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Oh. We're oh. Yes. We were kidding? Oh, oops. Yeah, but <laughs> we're so, uh, uh, John Ross. But I think she believes him. She just doesn't want to. Yeah. Well, and clearly part of her does because we know what she's already set uh, up. So, yeah. Like, so, she, she, yeah. She, yeah she, she's I think not she's, stupid yeah. by any means. And no. she's not going to show Christopher her hand until she knows right. her hand is she has a full house. Right. Yeah, well, she doesn't want to come down here and let Christopher like tell her what's up and look stupid. Also, she's trying to save face. Her kids are inside; they're gun <laughs> gunmen all around, and she's she's now meeting being met with Christopher um, with this information about her husband, the love of her life, supposedly. Who knows? And this is information that she's always already been kind of aware of that she's kind of like maybe just brushing under the rug and kind of mm-hmm. choosing to ignore. And so there's no way on earth she's going to let him win in that moment, even if he is completely right. She wants to step away, retreat get her own information, find out what the photographer who she ended up hiring, which mm-hmm. we didn't know at that at that time, mm-hmm. um, to get that information. Mm-hmm. Um, I've very, totally predicted she's that. She's very, very yeah. pragmatic. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm totally the same way, though. Like I would, I need all the facts yeah. laid out in front of me for me to actually believe like that somebody close to me would be hurting me. I would never just believe it on a whim. I'm not like that. So I, I can understand that, that thought process. Um, so Lucia, she calls Nicholas, which is, of course, what you would do, right? Mm-hmm. Um, she tells him Christopher stopped by um, and then she asks about Elena where's Elena right now and he says that she's not there she's at the Omni at a hotel mm-hmm. she's yeah. at, yeah, at the Omni, Omni. Yeah. always at the Omni I was, at the Omni. <laughs> I was always at the Omni <laughs> yeah. okay okay um, so then we go back to your character, Luis. Uh, he, am I saying Luis? Luis. Um, Luis. 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 Okay. Luis. But you can say Luis. Uh-huh. North or south of the border, it changes every yeah, time. So I don't know. Luis over here. Luis yeah, Luis down there. Yeah. Perfect. Um, he sits real close to Emma on the couch. Yeah. You're that really so, so funny. So creepy. So creepy. And hysterical because your legs are so she, wide she open. Asked me to say that. Wait, really quickly. I have an idea. She okay, JJ, how about you take off your headset real quick uh-huh. and go over there? So you're gonna you're gonna take off your headset really quickly okay. too, and you're just gonna like stand up. Okay, okay. we're gonna reenact the scene just quickly. Right. Okay. <laughs> so JJ, sit right there where you're gonna be in. Okay. So so she is she is Emma, and you and she's scared, right? Be scared. Okay. You walk up and sit next to her like you sat next That's to Emma. <laughs> she looks excited. <laughs> Oh, it's so creepy. It was just my it, Yes, it was just like this. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh After my TV, if you are listening on happen. iTunes, please go to YouTube and, and watch, watch that this segment. It's worth it. Thank you. So a round of applause. The acting ability in this room is... Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Antonio has now helped us with a new clip we will do every time yes. a guest yes. comes yes. in. This, this could be you someday. This is going to be on loop. Cast of Dallas. Um, and then, <laughs> but then he very quickly, he gets a phone call while he's sitting next to Emma and he is enraged. Ooh. He throws the phone... He or throws turns. It, oh, yes, yes, yes. My agent call. Yeah. <laughs> this is how the job was with him. Yeah. <laughs> To hear about and he goes Antonio they said no you, yeah you lost that AT&T commercial you're up for yes so, yeah. yes oh yeah. you know, residuals you on now? that would have been amazing that's where the real money is <laughs> so then he grabs he grabs uh, does he grab Emma is that who he yeah, grabs? Emma, yes, takes yeah. her down into throws, the dungeon. Throws, gets all crazy, separates them. Mm-hmm. Wow. Freaks everybody out. This is yes. Yeah. yeah. Psycho. Terrifying. Oh. Yeah. That, Terrifying. That was, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> well. Takes him to the basement with yeah. walls full of blood and bullet holes. Yeah. That's where I want to be. Well, the, the news that he got on the phone, let's just clarify that, is that the trucks were stopped at the border. Yeah. So these smuggling, these drug smuggling trucks that were supposed to come across to Mexico with all of your merchandise product yes product yes yes. uh they were stopped so of course you call judith right away and you pretend to shoot emma on the phone with judith listening and that scene right there that is the scene that will be submitted for emmy nominee or emmy Emmy consideration yes Yes. amazing oh i was talking about judith you too you're so good at that 
Also very good. Oh my god! Um, I had my speech ready. Yeah, he's going to tell everybody back Thank in you. Dallas. Don't go on that damn show. Yeah. It's terrible. Um, but she, the way she collapses and just falls apart was just oh heartbreaking. And then we thought that she yeah, was dead too for a moment. Yeah, you should have saw us but in the room. Even Anne, even Anne on the other side. I th- just think every part of that sequence was amazing. Because yeah. you like were crazy scary. We're sitting there freaking mm-hmm. out as we're watching. Yeah. And also, did, yeah. I, I was texting Emma. Emma bell who plays mm-hmm. emma yeah. on the way not on the way before not when i was driving when i got here <laughs> i was texting her he pulled over yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I have to pull over. that's why he was late don't text and drive it's terrible <laughs> yes and um i was texting her and she was like oh wait till tonight it's a big one for me and so when that happened i was like oh my god maybe she did just just die i was really yeah. kind of terrified yeah. for a moment um mostly just because i'm like i know somebody on a tv show and now i don't just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find a new friend. Um, so I was, my heart skipped a couple of beats. I was, I was scared. Uh, but, but it, it was out- just, it was so amazing, just because of all of that emotion, and to, just to think to scare someone to that, to the depths of that, and to say yeah. those scary words, like that feeling you just felt. Imagine feeling that yeah. for the yes. rest of your life, Brilliant over line. and over and over. That's how, it's amazing. How was that scene for you? I said that. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, it was tremendous. I mean, look. We said it earlier, and let's just admit this: this segment is about Judith. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> Working with Judith is awesome, mm-hmm. and you know, in that clip that you just mentioned, she did awesome. You know, for her to to to, you know, to play with those emotions for 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 the sake of the storyline, the show, and, and I mean, it, it's just such a collabor- collaborative process for mm-hmm. all of us, you know, mm-hmm. Judith, Emma, me, I mean, we all play a part, and if we all play it right, it works. I can imagine that a, that a scene like that has to be so exhilarating, but also so exhausting to play that. It is, because if I remember correctly, it was like 5.30 in the morning. Oh, wow. Really? I was having my coffee, and they told me five minutes. I'm like, for what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm having coffee. No, no. So we had to rehearse, and then... It was the first thing we did in the morning. Mm. So yeah, that was a You have to go to like an evil place that early I, I, is kind of... I had, which it was fine. If you take my coffee away, it's very easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, what in the world did you just... Yeah. But how many... What do you do to get to that yeah. place? Because that it's very hard to be convincing and, and do that. I, actually, it wasn't... Uh, you know, you do the first one not fully on because it's just for placements and sounds and lights mm-hmm. or whatever. Then you do another one again and you do it. You don't do it full... I mean, I don't. Other actors, you know psychotic they, <laughs> they go in the corner they're praying and they go nuts no no I just <laughs> that's what Dorinda does before every episode <laughs> under the table she's praying yes yes yes, yes. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. magic yeah. Uh, I just you know just walk it so they know okay they got all their and then you just you just once you immerse into the circumstances and you buy into it mm-hmm. it really it plays you when you don't allow that to happen you get in the way and it, and it doesn't click and the audience knows something's weird mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but if you allow it to play you whatever happened on the phone means that my life is a stake mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. I believe in is a stake mm-hmm. I may die as Luis mm-hmm. so I have to respond the same way if you are willing to take my life by interfering with what I'm trying to do I will take yours and it's just you know it's just that process mm-hmm. and Emma was awesome to work with i kept asking if i was too rough you know like am i, am I too rough mm-hmm. is this okay you know i have to find a way to grab her so it looks like all that but at the same time i'm not gonna harm her right yeah, yeah. um <laughs> you know and so it was it was uh, the whole process working on the show it's been it's been a for me uh, mm-hmm. you have to speak to them <laughs> um it was a wonderful experience i mean especially judith that when i did my debut episode two with her I said, this is awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's an icon. Mm-hmm. She just yeah. really is one of the greatest. Yeah. 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 I just said, you know, I, I want to come back. And then we kept coming back. And every time I was working with her, there was a, a different energy. It was really mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Even though she's on the phone, it's okay. You know, I, and uh, Emma was awesome to work with. It really, it really is interesting because mm-hmm. you're such an integral part of this entire season. I mean, you, you really are the central antagonist of the entire season right now. Yet you don't have a lot of scenes with a lot of the other characters. You don't interact with a lot of them yet. And you haven't. I mean, now Bobby's now down, you know, at the end of the episode he comes down south of the border but a lot of your scenes are really with you know nicholas and then nicholas. now with emma and ann um but and judith a lot judith, judith. And, and and harris and, Ryland. Yeah. but you didn't get to work with a lot of the ewings for most of the season H- hopefully for season four yes yes, <laughs> yes I like, if, if if it happens i like it they, you know, I'm, I'm hoping yeah. that it does it'll happen it'll happen yeah. but if, you know the fans have to want it they have yeah. to let them know that they want this storyline and the character to happen 
because it's for them. If they want it, then the producers will listen to them. As mm -hmm. far as I know, uh, tweet ooh. Dallas TNT and tell them that you want it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's keep it want, going. It's tell on them you want Judith and Louise to get married. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. She won't go near yeah. you after you almost killed her I granddaughter. I think it's a great novella spinoff. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? oh, you, know, yeah. you know, I was trying to do a little bit of that, and I know she was trying to do a little bit of that with the... Yeah. yeah. Oh, my and, God. I, and I was trying to respond in a way that they could see it, the writers. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it could be... Look, I know it's uh, it would be a strange relationship, but it does happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be for, for alternative motives. My relationship was her. Definitely a power, like for power. It would be sickeningly... Amazing. Delicious. <laughs> it will be delicious. Oh, yes. Delicious for us to sit at a dinner table across the show. The show is going oh. off the rails. It's you going off the rails. You and your candlelight yeah. dinners. Yes. Oh, we got to go. Oh, we we're we're going to get there. The candlelight soup dinner. Yeah, it's a proper drink for a proper lady. Um, So we go back to Bobby. He's on the phone with the senator. The senator is named Joe. That's who it was. Um, mm -hmm. And he says there's not a whole lot he can do, but he can call a couple of friends on some committees that might be able to help out. Bobby's pulling out all the stops right now. He's yeah. worried about Anne. They've had trouble lately, but it's still Anne, mm -hmm. and she's the most important person in his life. Um, we were back down in Austin, Texas now. Bobby, um, he he's trying to get a emergency gas pipeline leak training exercise underway between <laughs> the United States and Mexico, so that so that everybody basically won't be paying attention for three hours, so they can smuggle drugs. Through wow. the train. He's getting really creative. Wow. Yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, and, you do and, what you gotta do to save your family. And really risky, because he, he will go to prison. Yes. He'll yeah. go to prison if this doesn't work out. Sue um, Ellen reminded him of that, yeah, too. Yeah, so she's not the governor because she boozes too much, so <laughs> she can't she can't save his ass if he yeah. goes to prison. I think she's used up all her favors. She has used up all her favors. And, yeah. and there's no JR to come bail him out anymore, which is interesting because Bobby always had JR to bail him out in the past. Mm -hmm. Now there's no JR. Bobby is the the patriarch of the family now, yeah. and there's there's no more Jock. There's no more Miss Ellie. There's no more He's JR. He's gonna have to depend it's on the Bobby kids now. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. It has to be after Josh. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we've, we're back. We're in Las Vegas again. John Ross and Pamela are with uh, Nasir. Um, uh, they offer him the methane drilling rights if. He will help them out by buying all these stocks that are being sold for 70 cents on the dollar. They say if you go in and buy them for 75 cents on the dollar, it's still a steal. But what you'll get out of that is these this methane drilling because the sheik, they're going to run out. Their, their wells are going to run dry in five years conveniently, um, mm -hmm. conveniently for mm -hmm. Anne and Emma. Um, <laughs> so this is the plea that they're trying to make. He hates John Ross, but he respects Pamela and he sees you know integrity, integrity in her eyes. So it's he really takes, vengeance. Yes, he takes. Yeah. It, yes, but he takes this back to the sheik, and he's like, "We'll let you know." Um, we go back down south of the border again. Lucia's got the kids; they're bailing out of there, and it turns out that she did, in fact, hire the photographer, which you all saw coming the entire time. I was like, "Who is that? Is that bum?" I had no idea. <laughs> I couldn't figure that it out. That wouldn't surprise me, by the way. <laughs> yeah. um, Bobby, Rylan, and Judith are together. Judith is still a train wreck. Um, they've got a private jet, and they're going to send Bobby elsewhere, right? They're sending him down to Anne and Emma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And but to even your that character. moment with Judith and Bobby, you know, for them to kind of put their beef aside and for her to actually thank him for what he's well, doing. Well, she says to him, Emma is all I have. Thank mm -hmm. you. And that was a really tender moment for Judith to actually like, be that vulnerable. And she grabbed his hand. Yeah, yeah grabbed his hand. Yeah. Grabbed his hand. And she, that, you don't see that out of her character at all. You never yeah. see vulnerability. Here's where I wrote, I wrote down Judith Emmy. So I did want to talk about that. <laughs> I actually wrote it down. There it is. Okay. I love it. Can we go? The, Ju yeah, the Judith after show. I'm going to wrap this up. Nobody sit. I'm just here to talk about Judith. <laughs> okay. Let's give her an Emmy. The thing is, we, have, we never um, get to talk about her that much. Much, but we, did, we did talk about her a lot with Emma because she gets to work with her a lot and we talked about her a lot with you because you work with her so yeah, much and no, you have she's some, tremendous. Some, some of the best scenes the entire season are with you and Judith Yes. Um, and she would not have been able to do those scenes without you so. without Luis so yes you. without no, Luis so so thank you thank you yes uh, so now we've got um, Pamela she gets the loan from the Sheik right mm -hmm. um, and John Ross um, he never told Bobby, which is a point one of you brought up, that mm -hmm. he was supposed to get everything approved by Bobby, and he did not. So now there's mm -hmm. this big deal going on. So what's going to happen when they do buy all of that stuff back? I mean, is the sheik just going to let only take the methane and let them keep the rest? I mean, we don't know the details of that deal. When I watch this, I think I, when I think of your character, and I think of John Ross's character. I think they're similar in some ways, in that you're trying to prove to your boss um, that you are more important, that you're more loyal, that you're, you're smarter, more savvy than Nicholas. Yes, John Ross 
is trying to do the thing with, with Christopher his entire life. It's always been the same sort of a competition. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting to see, mm -hmm. you know, this family that is the drug cartel and this family that's the Ewings, they're they're so different, but they're really not that different at all. One's Actually, just American and one's Mexican. You know what? The same you, you hit the nail on the head. It's exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's this family who's, there's uh, uh, one guy who's fighting for a self, uh, I guess a sense of identity, mm -hmm. you know, to feel important, feel smarter, feel that he's good enough. It's the same thing that's happening in the other family in the Ochoa cartel, you know, with Nicholas and me. It is exactly the same as what happens in families. Yeah. That's why people love this show so much because they yeah. can relate. This mm -hmm. is, we all want a sense of identity. We all want to do a good job of whatever our job is. Mine happens to be exporting product. So <laughs> I just have to export a lot of product. But really, it's no different <laughs> from what true. the Ewings do. Yours happens to be cocaine, yes. yours happens to be oil. Yes. But I mean, it's both families same. have killed, both families have lied and yes. cheated. And so yep. it's really interesting to see the dynamic and, and somehow we all pull for the Ewings but at the same time we also hate the Ewings you know I, I, I for one do but I also I look at your character and I feel like I'm like okay god like this guy's this guy's a bad guy but I also feel for you in moments I feel for you in that in that the way that you and Nicholas are kind of you know going at it I feel I feel for both and I feel for Nicholas because he's now he's he's kind of showing vulnerability and I, really I don't feel for him. I don't at feel all. for him. I do feel for you. I do, but, I don't but feel not for him. for him. Thank you. Because <laughs> yeah. first of all, yes. first of all, your character, Luis's character, has bullied Nicholas in a way that he needs to be bullied. Like yeah. what he, what you did with Drew, yes. um, and you showed your power. You showed your power play on that. Yes. Because. He, if it was up to Nicholas, because he kept giving him chances, but the chances were never going to happen. So you showed him a power play that Nicholas actually had to be the one to do what he had did to Drew, because even though he didn't pull so the trigger, he was the one. Yes. You can only make so many mistakes. Then you know that's it. You know you have to make a decision and, and make a, a clean start. And you know Nicholas was just, you know, that's my point. He's and if just yeah. wasting mm -hmm. money, yeah. wasting time, making mistakes. That's not how you do business. And, and if I you don't make the decision, boss. somebody, your boss will make the decision for you. Then the, you lose your life. Yes. If things go bad, he looks at me like, I didn't do th the right thing. Mm -hmm. And then when things go good, he looks at Nicholas like you make the right decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so it's the same thing that happens to Josh. You know, mm -hmm. he's looked at the same way. Like when he screws up, everybody goes, oh, man. You know, when things go right, somebody else did it, not him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're doing the same thing. We are very similar, mm -hmm. uh, me and, and Josh. You know, we are. I like it. Andy both have a little mm -hmm. bit longer hair. He <laughs> slicks his back a little more. You're a little bit longer. Uh, but I think it's going to happen again with this deal that Pamela just brokered. It was his idea to go back and to beg them to help. She's the one that actually executed it and will get the credit if it works. Mm -hmm. And he will just be nothing again because it was all his fault anyway. And then he'll go and sleep mm -hmm. with somebody. <laughs> Yes, Luis, maybe. Yeah, right. hey, yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. So, then we've got Lucia. She meets with Christopher. She's at South Fork. First of all, do they time travel? Do they have like, how do they, do they teleport? That has People to be the closest you know? distance between te Texas and Mexico I, ever. I, I thought planes, the same thing. But private private I have private planes. planes because one time I was in the United States, I was in Texas. Uh -huh. Then I went to Mexico to meet with my boss. Mm -hmm. And then I was back in Texas. But I have a private plane, so it's okay. Oh, of course. Okay, there you oh, wait. Go. So do the Ewings. Yeah. 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 So it's only it's only strange that people don't have private planes. I understand. It's like, uh, it's like for I understand us, you for us simpletons yeah. here. Yeah, I understand when you have to be in line for JetBlue and all that. You know, <laughs> we don't have to get It would be line. like us driving to like Santa Monica. <laughs> yes. Like they just yeah, get on a yeah. plane and out, half an hour later they're somewhere else. Well, there's a helicopter upstairs. I'm going to take it back home. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and I'll be, I'll be in Venice, what, in 10 minutes? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Brilliant. What's the uh, problem? So, um, Lucia meets, she comes out to South Fork, and she, she tells uh, Christopher that she knows where Nicholas Trevino is, which is what Christopher's been trying to figure out, because if he can figure that out, then he can get to Elena. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Anne and Emma, um, they get a candlelit dinner, a soup dinner. Uh, not Anne and Emma. Actually, Emma has to sit on the couch by herself. Yeah. And watch. Or, Emma's had some bad experiences watch on couches this episode. Um, Here, eat. And Anne gets to sit down and eat this delicious, you know, Mexican stew. Which, Pizzoli. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it made of people? Is it really made of humans? Because you eat it. I don't I don't think that it is. I think that you're goading her to think that it is. Uh, you season it with a, a little bit of people. <laughs> but not chunks. Oh, that's completely normal. It's, it's normal. Yeah. Oh, that's no, okay. Sure. Remember the no, soup no, that they made of people not, is made, with acid. Yeah, it's not made with people. <laughs> but you just... 
yeah. make her think that his mate was people. It, it's no, there's there's no people. In it's there. very I mean, grimesque. Yeah, no, I take my cooking very seriously. I mean, uh, I actually went out. Luis was a kid. He wanted to be a chef, but he didn't go to culinary school. There was no top chef then in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he went into the drug cartel business. But he wanted to be on top Is this the story? Is this, is this like your backstory that you create in your mind? So that you oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you ask me, yeah. this, if the writers would ask me, I'd be like, what? Because you go on. <laughs> Sometimes you go on and on, and I'm like, am I really that yeah. bad of a host and I'm ba- that bad of a fan? <laughs> 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 like, what episode was that in? Well, 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 I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, like, was he really supposed to marry Judith? Is that really supposed to happen in episode two? So I'm but, telling you, it's a little spinoff. But that's what we have to do, because look, you show up on a set, and they give you the script for the episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And first, you got to find your relationship between all the characters, who they want mm-hmm. you're playing off of. Mm-hmm. And even the ones you're not, because you're mentioning them by name. So it's like, okay, what, what do they mean to me and my life and whatever? And to make sense of what you're doing, there has to be this backstory that nobody knows mm-hmm. about, but you do, you create it. Uh, uh, you know, I remember the writers were a little confused or puzzled because uh, <laughs> I would be doing some things and then they'd be like, oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's got to be really tricky for your character in particular because all these other actors, there's a lot of backstory laid out. There's yes. 20 seasons yeah. of it or whatever. Yes. And even for like a Christopher or John Ross, even though these ac- actual actors didn't play these roles, there is still backstory for the character. Mm-hmm. But for somebody like you who comes on episode two, season three, there's no backstory. You can create it all. Again, it's got to be kind of fun. You hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Yes, you're yeah. right. You know, they have already a start on the show. People already accept them. All mm-hmm. they need is a good suit. That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, put them in a tie. Oh, that's it. That's him. Yeah. Uh-huh. You, you come in and you have to give this whole sense of a backstory and, mm-hmm. and carry it with you so it has the weight that it needs for the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you, and, and the writers do, so, they were so good. And intertwining all the stories, mm-hmm. right? Oh, they do. That's but, awesome. But uh, that leaves very little time to work on Luis. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah. So I have to sit at home with my typewriter, and you know, oh, he was a—he wanted to be a chef on Top Chef, and <laughs> he was in love with Elena. And, 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 By the way, yeah. if you can watch what we're watching, he's actually doing the typewriter and pushing the. Yeah. <laughs> yes. oh, God, wait, yeah. am I on camera right now? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, the, the, I'm sure they got that. I'm yeah, sure they yeah. got that. Yeah, oh, we have people God. that listen on iTunes only, and so they don't. Oh, they, they don't. They don't, they don't, they don't yeah. see. They don't so see you're, you have to go to YouTube to see. Because there's a lot of my there's a lot of acting like going. going. No, you're doing it because you're yeah. like even doing the whole. We're gonna be, we're gonna be real honest. Work of the actor. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be real honest with you. Some of our guests are a lot better just to listen to than to watch. Some of them are really boring, but oh, you're yeah. a great. You guys need to watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Bell, boring as shit. Oh, I'm kidding. No, I'm she, kidding. Was she was fantastic. She, and she took it. She took what we she gave her. Did, she didn't even wear the green lingerie like I asked her to. Yeah. Wow. I remember, oh, she looked good in that. But uh, okay, so. Let's close out this episode, right? We've we've got El uh, Pozolero. Is that how you say it? Yeah, El Pozolero. El yeah. Pozolero. Um, uh, so apparently we find out that he made stew of victims. You kind of referenced that a little oh. bit, which is also just maybe just putting that fear into Anna mm-hmm. and, and Emma again. Um, Bobby shows up. Um, I said, how did he know? How did, Okay, this is my question. How did Bobby know where you were? How did he find you? The, uh, the uh, assistant director... <laughs> went to his trailer yeah. and told him, Luis yeah. is on set right now. Got it. We need he requested right a meeting now. with Luis. Yeah. So he said, he, and they bagged him. They just told him, you need it on set right now. <laughs> got it. No, no. He knew because he's got people working, you know, protecting his assets. And got there's it. people watching over him that are looking. He knows what's going on before people know what's going on, but he decides not to get involved when he shouldn't get involved. It's probably Carlos mm-hmm. Del Sol. Yes. Probably he knows uh, everything. Carl, yeah, Carlos Del Sol just pops up. All yeah. the time. Yeah. Carlos mm-hmm. is best friend. He knows everything when he needs to know it. But yeah. I think he had someone reach out to him and say, I have another way for him to get his drugs in export well, his he drugs. He has this yeah. plan that is better than the plan exactly. we have. Well, yeah, well, his plan his, will offer this train yes. um, while these these uh, exercises are going on yeah. on the border, right? Mm-hmm. One-time deal, too. One-time deal. As much product, right? Product? As right? much yeah. product as we can. That Absolutely. is insane. For can three hours imagine? only. How much can you fit yeah. on a train car? I mean, oh. seriously, that's, that's nuts. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Oh. Yeah. Nuts. So, you know this plan is great. The plan he has is great. I mean, there's, to be able to use a train for three hours undetected. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, really. Who how, many, how many of my relatives can I bring? <laughs> They're great. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the now, I'm, now I'm like, why did they mess up Ryland's plan of his shoes, the drug shoes, remember? The high heels? The high heels. Oh, that right. was season two, right? Yeah, that was season yeah. two. That would have been awesome to get all your product. And shoes. Yeah. In like Manolo they, Blanks yeah, the, or something. The shoes were drugs. Like you just melted season them down. Two. It's season two. And they were, it was, co- it was cocaine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but to melt mm-hmm. a shoe, yeah, the chemicals would get, uh, you, you want the product to be pure. And if you're melting a shoe, the chemicals of that would mess up the purity of the product and oh. stuff. And it oh, okay. He makes a very mm. valid point. Yeah. 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 Well, you got a point. It's always got to be top, top, top notch. We thought of the shoes, top the stuff. dolls, everything. You know? well, so the deal is that they will make this, they, they made this deal, correct? Mm-hmm. Then the trick, the, the, the cliffhanger at the end is that Luis, your character, tells Bobby that it's only Anna or, Anne or Emma that's going to be saved. And that's where we're left at the end of the episode. So. But I like that Bobby tells him too. Do we have a deal, or do you need to call someone? Yeah, he called. Yeah, he tries to play him. That a little bit. Oh, was good. Are you the boss, or do you have a boss? That's kind of how yeah. he played that. He actually was poking it. Yeah, yep. yeah. He For poked sure. the bear. Yeah, he yeah. sure did. He played the Ewan card. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did, and he's he, good at he's it. He's like, you know who I am. So yeah. we've got a two-hour season finale next week. We're looking forward yes. to everything's going to come to a head, obviously, in 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 a way that only Dallas can can bring us because they have the best season finales of any show on TV. Um, before we go, let's talk about let's get a couple little bit. I want to I want to know a little bit behind the scenes what goes on in Dallas. So let's go there for a moment. Okay. Well, we have a, a Twitter question that sure, uh, that go goes into it. that. So Joseph it. Franco is asking, what was it like to be directed by Patrick Duffy? Who's Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Uh, Tremendous. I mean, again, a guy who's given us so much joy with all his work mm-hmm. on many other shows. He calls him the original Dallas badass, by yeah. the way. And, and he's <laughs> he's not only a, a character, an actor in this show, mm-hmm. but he directs some of the episodes. And mm-hmm. now he's, it's a little nerve-wracking because like you said, there's a storyline behind everyone and he knows everything because he was on the original and he's on a new one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you as an actor, you're trying to play with your colors and do whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's nerve wracking with him because you have, there's parameters that you have to respect. Yeah. You know, that, that no, no, that wouldn't be right for the show. Okay. We get that every single week we come in here and do this because our fans who've been watching since <laughs> 1979 call us out so fast. You oh, have no idea. No clue. Oh my God. So I'll they love us, though. Guys. We love you all because they, they really do no, set us great. straight. They're and great. they actually set us straight to us really caring. I mean, we've cared about the show, but really loving the show because they send us stuff and we're like, oh, They'll send us yeah. videos. If we reference something the wrong way from like 1987, they'll, they'll send us a video. Send- Absolutely. Yeah. For oh, sure. yeah. Okay, really quickly, we have a couple minutes before we let you go. Um, who is the, who's the orneriest on set? Who's the biggest prankster? I would say <sighs> it's probably you, isn't it? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 you know, no. I stay in my trailer. I mean, I, I, I prank myself, and nobody yeah. knows. <laughs> yeah. So I can't claim that. Nobody knows what I prank myself. I, I would say. Uh, one of the hunks, one of the guys. Josh or Jesse? Uh, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the most serious actor on set? I would say me. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I like but that. I'm Nice. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, Not we enough. also have another twi- a tweet from Leslie Pennington who, who just wants to say that your character is just really becoming more and more fascinating. Oh, and thank so it's you just really, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> if I could tweet you, I tweet you. But I don't well, know how. She tagged you on the tweet so you so can you find can her. Yes. I feel respond. like you have a question. I do. Well, you, you've also worked with some other amazing directors. You worked on Savages with um, Oliver Stone. How was that experience? Oh, my God. Are you telling me? I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> Oliver Stone. I mean, come on. We all admire respect this man yeah. to get a green light from him to work on his project it was an orgasm and, and the <laughs> cast Benicio which I have mm-hmm. so much respect for mm-hmm. and I aspire to be like him and then Salma hmm even, I a, mean, yeah. even yeah. a blind person would be like oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, just really great I mean he is you know you better be on your best behavior and, and come to work show up to work if you do that you know he, he, you, 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 I guess you know you connect with him, and I, I believe we connected very well. Awesome, you know what a career, mm-hmm. what a yeah. career. Thank Taylor. you so much for being here. Before we let you go, I know we have to wrap. We have yeah. to like another minute or two. I oh. want to get predictions from everybody. So can we do predictions really quickly? Yes, like ten seconds or less predictions. Just I'll Jada, do one. Go. I just think it's going to be John Ross and Elena's baby. Oh. Yeah, okay. just, that's going to be like the last moment. Everything's going to be all great, and then all of a sudden, a holy baby. diaphragm pops up. Boom. There you go, John Ross. But I'm not going to go with that. I am actually thinking that Emma might see her demise. 
because oh, someone be someone is go someone's going to pass, and it's one of the, it. I think Emma will see the demise, unfortunately. And we love you, Emma Bell. And I'm hoping I'm wrong. Please, I'm normally right on my predictions, and I'm hoping I'm wrong on this yeah. one. Go ahead. Go well, I'm stealing Brianna Jay's. She says Pamela was on fire, and she thinks that her and um, Lucia are going to team up. I like that too. These are all really good I like predictions. It. Mm-hmm. I actually think that the baby, Elena's baby, is going to be Nicholas Trevino's, and I also think that um, Emma could be the one to go, which terrifies me because I absolutely adore her. Really quickly before we go, I want to say thank you to you and remind everyone they can follow you at at Antonio J M R L O. No, 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 no. J M L L O L L O. That's really yes. easy. I just joined two days ago. <laughs> follow. We will tweet it out. You can retweet and follow him there. Absolutely. It'll take me a couple of days to get back. To you, but please, but do, <laughs> get back to you. Okay. do tweet him, JJ. Where can we find your social I media? I am at JJ Jurgens on Twitter and Jurgens JJ on Instagram. Awesome. Okay, I am on Twitter at Lula Cherry Films and on Instagram at Dorinda B One. And one real quick question: Do you have anything else going on that you can tell us all about, and so our fans will know because they want? They will, I'm sure they want to. Well, see there's it. an independent film that should be coming out soon with Thomas Hayden Church and okay. Terrence, oh, Terrence Howard. Frazier, amazing. Car- car- boxer. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it looks awesome, and yeah. I don't know how much I can say about it, but look, look, look out for it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And cardboard then boxer? Yes, cardboard boxer. And then I'm also maybe doing a play soon here in town, which I love stage work. So I hope mm-hmm. it, it materializes because things change all the time in this town that you never yeah. know. Yeah. Well, tweet us and let us know so we can yes, let all the Dallas fans yes. know. Yes, of course. I will. And you. Mm-hmm. And you can find me at Kelly with an IE079 on Instagram and Twitter. Awesome. You guys can find me on social media at underscore AJ Gibson. Check out my new website, AJGibsonTV.com it's as great, well. It's great, actually. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Until next time, thank you so much for being here. Antonio Hamario. Next week, two hour season finale, Dallas season three. Oh, it's going to be yes. crazy. Mm-hmm. Come and back. Thank you. Thank you. So thank much. you, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. And thank you to the fans. Thank you. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz y'all later! The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 